Hi guys, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and I want to show you guys something that's uh, really interesting that I totally forgot that I even had, and I've had this for many years actually, but you can still get them, and what this is, is this is a USB uh, 3.5 floppy drive, external, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it, and we'll be back in a moment. Okay guys, so anyway, um, I have this plugged into my uh, iMac G3. Uh, this is the one that I've been waiting for almost a year now to get the uh, G4 conversion board that DOS Dude's been working on. Uh, he hasn't really had a whole lot of time, but the last time I talked to him he did apologize and he told me that he would be getting to it very shortly. So this is the one that I've done several videos on that were do upgrading the motherboard from the original G3 processor to the G4. And that's why you see the bottom panel is not on it because I want to wait until I get that new board in there then I can put the optical drive back in it and getting it all buttoned back up. So anyway, I keep it all covered up when I'm not using it because I don't like my machines getting dusty. I always keep them all covered up when they're not in use. That way they're always nice and clean keeps the dust off of them, keeps the dust out of the inside of them, and uh, that way uh, it, it protects it. That's just my own personal preference. But anyway, so uh, what I was showing you earlier is this is the uh, floppy disk, and uh, it's pretty neat, and like I said, um, it's a nice bridge drive. So like obviously the iMac G3, it never came with a floppy drive. Uh, came with an optical drive. It does have USB, which this plugs into the USB port. I've got a little extension cord to it here because otherwise it'd be too short. And so what we're going to do is if you look at the screen, and I'm going to zoom in here, right there. And uh, so what we're going to do, and, and I apologize for the uh, screen flicker. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the screen. It's just to see our refresh rate is difference from filming it in a 1080p 60 frame. So anyway, we're going to stick this in there and you're going to hear it make noise here. Now what the disk that I put in there in the floppy drive is the FWB software hard disk toolkit. Now obviously we're in Tiger, so it's not going to open up. It's going to try to open up Classic but as you can see, uh, it's reading that diskette right there. That uh, hard disk toolkit doesn't support Tiger. So that's why it's going to start up into a OS 9 here. But we'll let it do its thing here. There we go. It's loading up there. You can hear the floppy drive, it's accessing it. And we'll try that. We'll see here. We'll, we'll see if it lets us install it. I, I don't think it'll support it, but we'll find out here. Oh, well, you know what? It might let me do it. I take back what I just said. So let me find the uh, serial number here. So we can put the serial number on it. Okay, and let's put the serial number in here. Install it. Hey, I guess it's going to let us install it. It 
it's been a while since I used this. I'll have to read all the compatibility because it doesn't seem to it won't does not work on my PowerBook uh, CS 166 megahertz uh, laptop. So I'm not sure why it doesn't do that. I thought it was because of the uh, operating system, but I will have to research that and find out. Okay, hey, it installed it. Very good. So anyway, uh, yeah, so we have uh, that if toolkit on there. It's a very nice application Colored. to have on this here. Installation was successful. Yes, we know. If you are finished, click quit to leave the installer. If you wish to perform... We did. We, we quit the installer. There we go. Alright, so anyway, so that shows you that it works. Uh, this is, like I said, you can format these 700K or the high density 1.44, which it rounds it up to 1.5 meg on this here. This is also PC compatible too. There's no drivers you have to. It's already got everything built into it. You just plug it in and you're off and running. You don't have to put any drivers or anything on your computer. It's already built into this thing. Now, I've had this thing for several years. I guess probably five or six years. But I have the box for it somewhere. I'd like to give you the exact main name of it. But... Um, I'll hold this up here, and I will put the serial number in here. Now, now I did type that model number in, and it comes up with a couple other different brands, but basically it's the same thing. It's a China, um, but you can look at it there. But I believe, I want to say this is USB 2. It's all backward compatible. And it, like I said, it's a real nice machine, so it's one way of getting software on a uh, uh, like this G3 you can get from that you can download something on that and put on this drive as well and it's just a real handy little thing to have and like I said I totally forgot I had this thing and um, you know if it's a compressed file too you can get more on it and then, then, unz and then drag it off and then unzip it but uh, yeah that would have been real handy for the Classzilla that I put on my uh, power book um, but we got it on there. But anyway, yeah, so uh, this is just a nice little three and a half inch drive. And like I said, this is a nice alternative. So if you want to keep using your floppy drives, but like I said, this only works if your computer was never made uh, as far as an internal floppy drive. So if you got a USB port on it and you don't have a built in floppy drive, this will work. Now I know this works on System 9, it'll work on System, uh, I believe it worked on System 8, uh, as long as you have USB. Um, and also this works on Tiger, and I believe it works on Leopard as well. Beyond that, I don't think it works anything beyond Leopard though, because these are um, the older uh, PowerPC machines. And that's what this supports, the older PowerPC machines. But like I said, you can also get the older 68K software on that too. It's one way of sharing it on other computers too. It's pretty slick. So anyway, um, I just thought you guys would like that. Um, like I said, I totally forgot I even had this thing. And uh, you can see I have my old uh, wallpaper on there. I've updated it since then. I have to update this here. Right now we're on Tiger here, but anyway, so like just like any disc, you just drag it in the trash there. It'll eject it, and you get it's manual. It's manual eject. You just push the button, comes out, and like I said, you can format your disc. This is a high density disc, um, and uh, or you can do the regular single sided uh, 700K disc. It'll read those too. Pretty cool. It doesn't weigh much. It's very light. I don't remember the exact brand on this, but like I said, that YDBU10, when you type that in uh, on the computer, like on uh, eBay, it'll bring up a couple different ones, but it has that same model number of the drive. And uh, they might be in a different color case. They might have some different wording. This just says USB 
uh, on there. And but some of them have their own factory like that. I even saw I Omega one. It was the same model number on that. Pretty neat. So great way to share software on your older machines. You can definitely do some things with it. You know, you can plug it into a, a newer iMac. Um, it will load up on it, but it won't let you um, open it up, obviously, because you're running a newer version of system software. Uh, you have to be in a, a classic environment to open it up. But uh, you, you can at least look and see what's in it. It does recognize it. So anyway, uh, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. Click the bell. And we're on Twitter. And we're on MeWe. And so you guys have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.